Hello everybody, um, welcome to a new career mode, you can see here I was, uh, the way I picked the team, I literally just closed my eyes and pressed right in the d-pad or held it in, I ended up with Liverpool which was quite decent. Um, the reason I was going with a BPL team instead of like a lower league team was just because it was a lot more realistic, um, like we had the licensing in stadiums and um, crowd and just stuff like that um, and there's a lot more money just to play around with I suppose um, every every team has a couple of players that you can at least sell for a bit if you don't have that much money um, so yeah I decided just to go with but I didn't decide because it was kind of random but I went to Liverpool which was a decent decent team to get, one of the best teams in the league, um, but you can see I've, I've just started here and it says that we should look for a defensive mid, but first of all, before I was actually even got the chance to look for a defensive mid, we got a transfer offer for Simon Mignolet for 17 million, so I just I counter offered it for 23 million because I don't, I think I should get more than that. Um, and they said they decided to match it, but then I got another offer for Glenn Johnson, so I decided to put it at six, but they said they didn't want him, which who could blame them? It's Glenn Johnson, it's not exactly Ronaldo that they're getting for six million. <laughs> then we got an offer for Daniel Sturridge for 22, no way we were, we we're not selling him for less than 40. Um, There's just no way, and then you can see that since Minuet sold, we were. I keep a short, so I went out to buy another one. I was looking at David De Gea. Um, I was looking at a couple, um, but I decided to try and pick up De Gea for uh, 16 million. Um, but you can see that we did not get on because there was too much competition and because we were a rival, we were kind of. It was a lot harder for us to get on, I suppose. So. Um, yeah, I, I tried to put in a counter offer, but there was no way I was going to get them. Even though I, I offered more than the other two teams, um, you can see they want they wouldn't change their offer for Daniel Sturridge, so I just rejected it. Um, and uh, you can see that you can see there I I can I can uh, put in another offer for him, so I had to go for uh, Asmir Begovic, who was. One of my other options, the other one was Courtois, but I wasn't really wanting to spend like 30 million on a keeper. Um, so I went for Begvich, who I think is a really good keeper. Then I got another offer for Daniel Sturridge, that was only 500,000 more, and I put it at 40 million again because I don't want any less than 40 million. Um, but you can see that um, we are one step closer to signing Begovic. Uh, he wanted 120,000, but. That was quite a lot. Then we went into our first first game of FIFA 15, I suppose. Well, not mine, but the first game you'll see me play. And it is against um, PSG. You can see nothing happened in the first half. Well, some stuff did happen, but not really worth showing. No goals are in, not, as you can see. But there was quite a lot of shots. Really, really close goals. Um, one got cleared off the line, but you can see our first goal does come in the second half. This world-class uh, diving header from miles away, a full six yards, world class, um, nah I'm just kidding, that was, that's probably one of the worst goals I've scored, <laughs> just a rebound, but a goal's a goal, I know it's a friendly, um, and I should try and score better goals, but nothing was going in, as you can see, 17 shots and 12 in target, and I only managed to score one goal, I'm crap keeping possession, but I still won, um, <laughs> so uh, that is the end of the first episode, I don't know what I'm going to call this, I'll make it up when I'm <laughs> editing this, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.